Hurricane Sandy has devastated most of the New Jersey coast. One of the hardest hit areas was the town of Belmont. From a temporary shelter at Town Hall, Mayor Matt Doherty tells the story of this place at the Jersey Shore. The storm came and it seems that it, although it hit uh, further south of us. Uh, so we didn't get a tremendous amount of rain, which we were lucky for. We had briefings beforehand by the National Weather Service and they told us, they warned us, uh, that we would see a storm surge um, unlike anyone, uh, any other storm surge that anyone alive has ever seen. And their prediction was dead on. After the storm passed, it was devastating to see so much damage. Uh, it was uh, as if someone punched you in the, in the stomach and you lost your breath. It was, um, it looks, it truly looks overwhelming. Most of the residents heeded warnings to leave, but some did not. Well, before the storm came, we did institute a mandatory evacuation. Uh, many people uh, listened to that warning and left. Um, some who didn't, because they'd been here for so many years, um, thought they would ride it out. Uh, and the problem is the water, in this case, came so fast, it wasn't as if people had, you know, an hour or two to get things together and go somewhere. They literally had a matter of minutes, and, uh, and that window closed quickly. Remarkably, the town suffered no fatalities, thanks to the efforts of rescue personnel. We sent out our volunteer water rescue team. Uh, they were out Monday night uh, in the pitch black, 50 mile an hour winds, uh, in wetsuits uh, with water up to their, to their necks. And uh, in the span of people that ran were from an 18 month old to a 95 year old woman. Our total uh, rescues as of last night, uh, which would be uh, uh, Tuesday night, was a little over 140 families. No lives were lost here in Belmar, but many homes and businesses were damaged or destroyed. Our worst problem right now is the water in town uh, that's not going back into the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, we started pumping it today. We're going to be pumping it uh, until, uh, in, until we have it, have it all back into the ocean. It's going to take some time. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of water uh, in town, and that's our main concern right now. Most of the town was left intact, but the famous Belmar Boardwalk is completely devastated. The boardwalk has been destroyed from 10th Avenue South. Uh, it's no longer there. Uh, it's all over Ocean Avenue. Uh, and far inland is B Street, which is two blocks, uh, two blocks west of Ocean Avenue. You know, the boardwalk is something um, everyone in town loves. Uh, as much as and they have an emotional attachment to their own home, uh, they also love the boardwalk. And uh, what we want to do is set an example uh, by being uh, aggressive and, and, and showing people we're going to attack this cleanup and attack this, uh, you know, rebuilding the boardwalk as aggressively as uh, the ocean uh, unfortunately attacked us on Monday. In many places, the recovery and cleanup is already underway. But in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy, short towns like Belmar can really use our help. Belmar is a small town with a very big name. Uh, a lot of people come here and, and, and have great summers here. Uh, so what we're doing is we're asking for donations. We set up a very easy way for people to donate uh, on our website, which is belmar.com, where they can donate $5, 10, 10 20 50 100 whatever the case is. Uh, what we're saying is if you've been here and you had a great time, uh, if you have fondness for our community, when you hear the name Belmar, if it makes you feel good, uh, we need your help. And, and with that, along with federal and state monies, uh, I am very confident uh, that we will uh, rebuild and reconstruct uh, better than what was there before.